Shalom. Koholo y'all by Shemil Shai, by Shemil Karkadash. The bonds of the apostles, the bonds of the elders, a great millstone rule well and toss this truth. Much respect to you brothers out there just preaching this word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle David, hope for lecking the speckled bird the one says Shalom. So I just want to get through this uh, quick lesson through the spirit. Saw a couple articles today and uh, throughout the week. You know how uh, these other nations, uh, Russia, if I'm not mistaken, Africa, they're 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 not drinking of the wine of Babylon anymore, or they're not standing with it. They're not standing with the wine of Babylon, because with the wine of Babylon comes chaos. Everything's out of order. The women out of order. Men with men just everything out of order and you see these nations they're they're fed up and they're not with it and they're against it and you see these nations also as you see right here north korea vows to annihilate the u.s it says country will be term terminated this century and that, that spirit's out there as well as the chariots are out there now that could be Project Blue Beam. It could, maybe not. But regardless, that spirit is out there. So the nations are rising up. The Lord is rising up. The Lord has His men out there on the highways and byways, preaching this word against this man. The Lord has risen up His men. And so yes, you, you, Lord willing, with those men. We're going to see the fall of Babylon very, very soon, as you see right here, as, as they said, you know, it's going to be the century <laughs> that Babylon is going to be destroyed. And Lord willing, Lord willing, maybe within the incoming year, next year, the year after, hey, Lord willing, man, because this place has to be destroyed. This place has to be taken down. You know, once again, the, that, that wine of Babylon, the nations ain't with it. And all of it, they're not uh they're not with it, man. You know, all the wickedness, all the wickedness that they have done, putting putting stuff in the foods, chemicals in the foods, in the air, the water. Yeah, this man has to be taken out of power. Lord willing, I have some more uh pictures and pretty much one I want to cover. But uh let's go ahead and go to um this is Cyrac 12 and verse 10, classic scripture. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusts, so is his wickedness. So just as iron rusts, if you leave it outside in the rain with no protection, it's going to rust. So that's the wickedness of Esau Edom, our number one enemy. You expect this man to be wicked. You know, you got these people out here. I can't believe this happened. Hey, we expect that, especially in this kingdom. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as, a, as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. You see, because he's that lump of clay that's made to dishonor the Lord. The Lord said, never trust thy enemy. This man was born to be wicked. So even though he may act like he's a quote unquote <laughs> good person, he's not. The scriptures speak of he cannot go to sleep without causing any type of wickedness. <laughs> Set him not by thee. And that's what these nations are realizing the hard way. You know, y'all came together with the Psalms 83. And now you got Russia, which is Esau versus Esau. Russia against Babylon is E versus E. You got these other nations, Moab, Ammon. They're gearing up uh, against Moab. They're gearing up against uh, Babylon the Great. Helm is gearing up. They, they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't with you, man. They ain't here to stand up with you. Matter of fact, um, which I'm going to go ahead and play that video. Have a video of what they did to Qaddafi. See what Qaddafi was bringing in 
was pretty much almost like a prelude to the kingdom of heaven where the water is free the water is clean people got your crops you know your own land and that as you'll as you'll see in the video was to boost up their economy and so as as this man esau Edom is he's wicked as hell he's been given the blessing of the sword so he's been given that green light to cause death hell and destruction and so these other nations are waking up to his wickedness and i'll go ahead and play this video after i read this let me see um say him not by thee least uh least least when he have overthrown thee he will stand by thy place neither let him sit at the right hand least he seek to take thy seat and now has last remember my words and be prickled there within who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a ser with a serpent or any such as come nigh any wild beast so can we feel sorry for the two-thirds of our people that choose to hold hands with this man esau you know we're not going to feel sorry for you or the other nations this man was built and made to be wicked he's a two-legged beast <laughs> he's our evil twin brother man he is not to be trusted he will be destroyed Let's go ahead and play this video. We know that beneath know that beneath the desert floor lies a hidden treasure worth trillions of dollars. It's fresh water, and one man had a vision to unleash its potential. Introducing the Great Man-Made River, the largest construction project in history. After 40 years of hard work, this epic project delivered pure water to all of Africa. Imagine free land, water, seeds, farm, house, tractors, and livestock. For anyone who wanted to start an organic farm it was a game changer thanks to a great man with a mission to end starvation and poverty across africa pure ancient and pristine water transformed deserts into thriving organic farms it was a monumental project of epic proportions but did you know that the western media rarely tells you about this incredible achievement that's right the greater man-made river was a remarkable gift to africans from muammar Gaddafi. however when it was finally completed, the United States blew it up with depleted uranium bombs. Shocking, right? But do you know why they killed Gaddafi and destroyed this great project? Because if Africa had access to water, it would become a leading exporter of food, challenging America's dominance in the market. It threatened their economy. So remember, there's more to the story than what you hear in the news. The great man-made river was a symbol of hope and progress. A testament to what we can achieve when we come together. No. And so let's go ahead and get some more scriptures. It's Jeremiah 51 and verse 6. Flee thee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver, deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in our iniquity. For this is a time of the Lord Yahweh Bashemiel Shah's vengeance. And he will render unto her recompense. All right, so that flee out of Babylon is not talking about actually getting a plane and flying out somewhere and thinking that you're going to escape. All right, Jacob's trouble, for the most part, is going to be everywhere. But this flee out of Babylon is talking about spiritually. You got to spiritually flee out of Babylon. You got to stop sipping that drink. You got to stop sipping the wine of Babylon. It has polluted the minds of the people. So the Lord has called an elect to get out, uh, to get up out of here, man. To not fall out to the ways of Babylon. Because if you're not an elect, hey, everybody else is about to get jacked up in these last days. Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her, take bomb for her, pain. If, it be, if so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon. But she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country for a judgment reacheth into heavens and I'll lift it up even to the skies. Because I've seen this, um, which I may have the picture of it. I may not, Lord willing, I'll, I'll post it up. You know, you had this uh, appear to be Elamite. I believe he was a prince. And, um,. Man, he, he was dr <laughs> drunk off that wine of Babylon, man. Drunk off that wine of Babylon, and his parents knew it. 
I wouldn't be surprised if that dude ends up dead, man. You know, because these other nations, they don't play with that, man. They don't play with that. You know, he's supposed to be a prince. And uh, <laughs> he he over there, he, he wants a man, but, you know, he, he a booty warrior, man. <laughs> But yeah, these, these other nations recognize the wine of Babylon, that it causes chaos, it causes the people to be out of order, diseases, all types of stuff. And so yeah, her sins has reached up into heaven. So no, this place is not going to be healed. Matter of fact, this place has to pay for the wickedness and destruction that it has done unto the apple of the Lord's eye. So any way you slice it, this place has an incoming destruction. I may come back to that in Psalms 51, I mean uh, Jeremiah 51, but this is Psalms 58 and verse 2. Yea, in, in heart ye work wickedness and weigh violence in your hands in the earth, you see. You know, these other nations, they try to do right to their people and, and Babylon comes in thinking that they can do better or they see them as a threat. And they make a propaganda, you know, smearing their, smearing their name in a bad light. So they come in with the blessing of the sword and they destroy those people. So, yeah, you, you got to pay for that. You got to pay for what you have done to the other nations and especially what you have done to the apple of the Lord's eye. Bringing us into captivity. You know, taking on women, buck breaking. You got to pay for that. Neo-slavery. You got to pay for that. Even now. Even now. And see, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. You know, they go on that uh, uh, <laughs> smear campaign. You know, they see another nation rising up, doing good for their people. Babylon comes in. And they out here lying. Or oh, I seen a, a video a brother had posted of an Edomite, Edomite baby saying that a so-called black man did it, man. <laughs> you know, so so that's the spirit of Esau Edom, man. They they all out of order. All out of order. Once again, they're they're the lump of clay that's made to dishonor the Lord. The poison is like the poison of a serpent. They're like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Break their teeth, O power. In their mouth, break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Yahweh Shem And that's what the Lord is going to do. The Lord is about to take away their power. The Lord is about to confound them. Babylon is on their high horse thinking that they're not going to be taken out. No, you got to pay. Just as Egypt paid. You know, they was on their high horse. There's nothing new under the sun. This new Egypt is about to be taken now. But this time it's going to be by thermal nuclear destruction. Let's see. Uh, Let them melt away as the waters which run continually. And when they benef his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be cut into pieces. It's coming, man. You about to be brought down. You about to be brought low. You about to drink that cup of slavery that we had to drink. And it's going to be double. As a snail which melted, let every one of them pass away like an untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can fill the thorns, he shall take them away with a whirlwind, both living in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance, and he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So that the man shall say verily, there is a reward for the righteous, and verily he is power that judgeth in the earth. So yeah, this place is about to be destroyed. These Edomites are about to be taken out of power. They're about to be taken. <laughs> they're about to. Uh, the Lord is about to shoot them arrows at them by their own people, the Russians, all right, the bear, and the other nations. And you're also going to be taken out by the angels of the Lord. Yahweh Shai, the Lord's son. The men of the Lord. So yeah, you, you're going to be taken out, man. <laughs> and you dashed our little ones against the stone. So guess what? We're going to be washing our feet in the blood 
of the wicked. It's going to be beautiful, man. So it, 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 it has to happen. It has to happen. Matter of fact, I'm going to go back to uh, Jeremiah 51. And uh, this is verse 21. And with thee will I break in pieces the horses. Matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just start right there. Breaking the pieces. Uh, breaking pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the man and the woman. And with thee will I break in pieces the old and young. With thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. Because I believe you, you read up earlier. I meant to put it in here. Is that we're going to be the Lord's weapons of war. The Lord is going to use his men to break in pieces our enemies as, as we read right here. Let me go ahead and get verse 24 for the sake of time because I got to go in in a sec. This is verse 24. I will render unto Babylon and to the, all the inhabitants of the Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in, in your sight, saith the Lord. So they got to be, hey, they got to get that get back for the wickedness that they have done unto us. The GMOs in the food, the fake synthetic food, the polluting the water. Putting us into captivity. They got to pay for that. I will render unto Babylon. Let me see. I just read that. Verse 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountains, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemel Shah, will destroy all the earth. I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and I will roll thee down from the rocks, and I will make thee a burnt mountain. You see that? You're going to be brought down. You know, because mountain can re represent power. So your power structure is going to be burnt. You're going to be taken out. And they shall not take thee a stone for, for a corner, nor a stone from the foundation, but thou shalt be desolate forever, saith the Lord Yahweh Shemiel Shah. So this kingdom is going to be desolate forever. It's going to be used as a remembrance unto all the other nations that if you fall out the ways of Babylon, this is what's going to happen to you. You're going to be made desolate. You're going to be destroyed. So this is the only way that Babylon is going to be remembered. After that, hey, our kingdom is going to be remembered forever, forever. We're not going to be thinking about it except for the ways of Babylon not to follow in it. But uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praises going on to Yahweh, Shemel, Shabbat, Shemakar, Kedash, and Wa'ababababah, Shalom.